primary elections have already begun across the country. Yep, here in North Carolina, early in-person voting begins next week. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth has more now on the national effort to mobilize voters. Well, these poor and low-wage workers are saying it's time for us to mobilize. Fighting for low-wage workers. At a press conference in Washington, D.C., the Poor People's Campaign, led by Reverend Dr. William Barber of North Carolina, announced a new voter mobilization drive geared toward the low-income vote. We have power. We've got to use it. And the time is now to be build the third reconstruction and be a resurrection of power in this moment. There is no turning back. The goal of the drive is to mobilize 15 million poor and low-wage workers who have been infrequent voters and get them out to vote. If we are going to be serious about addressing the problems of low wages, the lack of health care, inadequate housing, attacks on education, and more in this impoverished democracy, we as a nation must listen to the demands of the poor. The Poor People's Campaign says the turnout for low-wage workers is 20 to 22 percent below the average turnout. At today's press conference, Barber was joined by those who say they struggle to make ends meet and they want to see change. We cannot settle for less. We got to stand up for our right. We are forward together, not one step back. The Poor People's Campaign will hold a series of efforts throughout 32 states, including here in North Carolina, talking to lawmakers and getting people to vote. And this isn't the only effort the Poor People's Campaign is doing to reach voters. On June 15th, they plan to hold a rally in Washington, D.C. Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News.